and hi everyone. So today we will learn about the chapter 6 which is circular motion. So this is the overview of the circular motion. The first one is uh, you will learn about the definition of the circular motion and then the uniform circular motion and finally the centripetal force. So first we see the learning outcome of 6.1 which is uniform circular motion. At the end of this topic, students should be able to describe uniform circular motion and then convert units between degrees, radian and revolution or rotation. Okay, so we go for the uniform circular motion. What is the uniform circular motion? It's a motion in a circle or circular arc at a constant speed. Uh, means that um, an object dia bergerak dalam bulatan dengan kelajuan tetap uh, constant speed means that kelajuan tetap ok andaikan um, this object uh, andaikan this object dia bergerak dalam circle ok complete satu rotation so if at this position uh, let's say daripada sini eh dia bergerak sampai at this position ok so the length of the circular arc S is given by S equal to R theta uh, this S is equal to R, with, R times with theta so where the theta is angle which the arc substance to the center of the circle in radian so the unit the theta must in radian if you calculate the circular arc S, so S equal to R theta, so means that theta must in radian. And the R is the radius of the circular parts. Okay, sekarang ni kita tengok linear or tangential velocity V. Linear velocity is directed tangentially to the circular parts. So let's say this is circular pass. So the linear velocity is tangent to circular pass. So ini pass. So tangent to this pass is the velocity. That one is the first point. Second point is perpendicular to the radius of the circular pass. So let's say this is radius. So tangent to the radius is the tangential velocity ok so in a uniform uh, motion circular motion in a uniform circular motion the magnitude of the linear velocity or speed of an object is constant ok so maksudnya di sini okay, let's say speed is equal to 4 meter per second so, velocity ni dia bergerak sama dengan speed uh, which is 4 meter per second juga. Maksudnya sepanjang perjalanan uh, dalam sekolah pars ni tak kira dekat mana position dia, magnitude dia sama. Maksudnya nilai dia sama. Dia duduk dekat position bawah at the bottom at this position ataupun dekat right ke atas ke so magnitude dia sama so bila dah um, bagi contoh tadi kalau dia bergerak dengan 4 meter per second so velocity pun 4 meter per second so magnitude dia akan sama ok but if you see here uh, bila dekat mana-mana uh, position pula bila ada perubahan position tu direction of velocity dia berubah uh, kalau kita tengok kat sini uh, V ke kanan uh, kalau Uh, port, kalau ke arah kanan ni V dia ke atas ok kalau duduk kat bawah V uh, sorry kalau duduk di atas so V dia akan ke kiri ok kalau uh, at the left side V dia akan ke bawah so which mean velocity if you see here the direction of velocity here change uh, so maksudnya kita ada perubahan 
in velocity change in velocity so bila kita ada perubahan dalam velocity dia akan lead kepada adalah acceleration sama macam kita dah belajar dalam kinematic of linear motion so bila ada perubahan velocity dia akan ada acceleration okey so untuk linear velocity ni unit dia sama macam kita dah belajar dalam chapter 2 which is meter per second okey next one is period and the symbol is capital T what is period time taken for one complete revolution uh, or cycle or rotation any one of it lah uh, depend lah kepada soalan sometimes it use cycle or rotation or revolution so kamu kena faham lah dia membawa maksud yang sama ok and the period is second symbol S the frequency small f uh, ini bukan friction ya ini adalah frekuensi and we we'll use the symbol small uh, small letter f. It's a number of revolutions. Number of revolution uh, sama juga sama ada cycles. It means that it's a number of cycles or it's a number of rotation dia membawa maksud yang sama. Complete in one second. Uh, so the unit is hertz or per second. Okay, and the equation of the frequency F is equal to 1 over period. Okay, for one object, make one complete circular motion. Okay, kalau dia um, buat, dia bergerak, this object. Okay, ada satu objek. Ada satu objek ni dia bergerak complete. Hmm. Dia bergerak dalam uh, one complete revolution. Okay. So, the distance travel is equal to 2 pi r which is circumference of the circle. Nah, ini kalau dia dah bergerak one complete uh, one complete cycle lah. Okay. Kalau dia bergerak separuh saja, maksudnya dia adalah untuk distance travel dia adalah separuh lah daripada uh, circumference of the circle ni. So, dia akan jadi separuh times with 2 pi r. Okay. Uh, and then the time interval of taken is one period. Uh, because it complete one cycle or one rotation or one revolution. Okay. Sekarang ni kita pergi kepada the speed of the body. B. Okay, B is a distant travel over time interval. Uh, ni adalah speed. Uh, seperti yang kita dah belajar dalam chapter 2. So, V is equal to distant over time interval. So, untuk an object complete one cycle Okay, so an object complete one cycle ni, distant travel dia adalah bersamaan dengan circumference yang kita dah belajar tadi. So, one second, uh, one complete uh, cycle ni bersamaan dengan, uh, S dia adalah bersamaan dengan circumference. So, circumference adalah 2 pi r. Okay, and the time interval for one cycle is equal to period. Uh, so, over with T, period. And, this equation, kita boleh tulis dia sebagai V equal to 2 pi R F. Because, the relationship of the F is equal to 1 over period. Okay, next one is omega. Omega is a angular velocity or angular frequency. Okay, what is omega? Omega is the rate of change of angular position of a rotating body so omega is a 2 pi over t or equal to 2 pi f so from this equation daripada equation v equal to 2 pi r over t ni so 2 pi over t is equal to omega So, another equation of V equal to 2 pi R over T ni, kita boleh write down dia adalah V equal to R omega. Which is omega mass in unit 
radian per second. And R is radius. Radius of the circular parts. So, ada dua nama lah untuk uh, angular velocity ni. Omega ni. So, iaitu angular velocity or angular frequency. Okay. So, for the conversion unit, uh, yang ini kamu kena tahu, which is uh, if the pi radian equivalent to 180 degree, if 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree. Uh, kita kena tahu conversion unit sebab biasanya kita perlu tukar untuk unit omega. Omega ni mesti ingat dia mesti dalam radian per second. Okay. So, Madam bagi one example. Okay, let's say dia bagi omega. Okay, omega is equal to 200 R dot P dot M. Okay, R ni means that dia adalah revolution. P ni per lah. Per M is minute. Okay, dia depend lah pada soalan. Mungkin kamu dapat RPS. RPS means that revolution per second. Okay, kalau RPH. RPH means that revolution per hour. Uh, so, depend kepada soalan. Kalau RPM means that revolution per minute. As I already mentioned, omega dia mesti dalam unit radian per second. Okay. So, maksudnya, if unit is in revolution, so kita kena tukarkan dia kepada radian. Uh -huh. So, macam mana kita nak tukarkan 200 revolution per minute ni kepada radian per second? Uh, yang tadi kan revolution per minute. So, in terms of revolution per minute pula. So, kita nak dalam radian per second. So, first, we write down omega is 200. Okay. So, kita tulis revolution per minute. Kita nak tukar revolution per minute. Kita bukan nak tukar 200. 200 is uh, nilai dia yang kita tak boleh ubah lah. So, kita nak tukarkan revolution per minute. So, kita perlu tukarkan revolution dulu. So, we times here. Okay, sebab kita nak cancel off this revolution. So, kita letakkan revolution tu di bawah lah. Okay. So, one revolution. Okay, macam yang kita kata tadi. One revolution is equivalent to 2 pi radian. Hmm. Satu revolution ni sama juga dengan satu rotation ataupun sama juga dengan satu cycle lah. Satu revolution, satu cycle, satu rotation. Membawa maksud yang sama. Okay, rotation. Dia membawa maksud yang sama. So, kita kena faham lah pada soalan tu. If it mention any one of uh, this this word, either revolution, cycle or rotation. Dia membawa maksud yang sama. Okay. So, yang mana satu revolution is equal to 2 pi radian. Okay. So, nanti kita boleh cancel lah revolution. Uh, kita akan dapat dalam radian Okay, so kita solve part radian Sekarang ni kita nak solve part minute pula Okay, so kita nak cancel off the minute So minute perlu duduk di atas lah Okay, one minute So one minute equivalent to how many seconds? 60 second So now kita boleh cancel Kita boleh cancel revolution Okay, dan kita akan cancel minute so, ada apa sekarang ni? Ada 200 times with 2 pi radian over 60 second. Okay, so, kita tulis semula. 200 times 2 pi radian over 60 second. Uh, so, kita akan dapat 20.94 radian per second. So, we already convert this value of omega. Kena ingat eh, 
any solution regarding to omega which is angular velocity or angular uh, frequency kita perlu tukarkan sehingga dia dapat radian per second. Okey kalau RPS Okey kalau RPS revolution per second kan? Ha, revolution per second. So kalau kita dapat dalam a uh, unit revolution per second, so kita perlu tukar revolution sajalah sebab per second is already uh, dalam unit second dah. Uh, so kita hanya tukar kepada revolution sahaja. Okey. Kalau RPH pula, uh, RPH kita kena tukar lah revolution dan juga hour. 